I'm on the farm here today with suburban foragers. Uh, behind me are some volunteers who are picking purslane. So this is a wonderful season for purslane. It's, a re it's looking really good right now and I'm going to gather some for the foragers who are over in our tent right now preparing for the meal that we're going to cook for the farmers today. And this is what we're going to be gathering today. It's looking very healthy right now so it's perfect, perfect time to pick it. We've found a large patch of milkweed on the farm here and we love milkweed. I mean we, we use it all the time. Starting in April, May we, we pick the, the small shoots which are really great to use like asparagus and then later on we, we take the, the, the flower buds. I'm just seeing if there's any left. Yeah there's some still here. So we take these flower buds and we use these and then after that the flowers but now the flowers are beginning to die off and then after that, we're going to have these pods growing. You see, it's very small right now, but ultimately it will get to be about that big. And they're really very good in cooking. What are we going to do with these today when we... Well, like you said, the ones we have are much larger than these. They're about the size of my thumb or larger. I'm going to split them in two and pan sear them on the cut side so that they caramelize a little bit. Then we're going to throw them into a yummy sauce with some pork meatballs. Mmm, sounds great. Yeah. Our local farm is run by young apprentice farmers and local volunteers who harvest and clean the seasonal crops to share out among the members, who also help out with the planting and the weeding and gathering. There's a wonderful sense of community on the farm which brings together people from all backgrounds and beliefs. They work side by side developing friendships and learning about growing food while serving the community. Once in a while, members of suburban foragers get together at the farm to forage and cook lunch for the farmers. It's fun for us and much appreciated by the farm folk who work very hard and obviously build up a very healthy appetite. These look like onions that came from the farm. They were harvested today. I have, well, it's 90 degrees outside or and higher and climbing, <coughs> so it's very hot. And I wanted to make a cold dish, and I know that buckwheat noodles are very refreshing. So I am just slicing up all these raw fresh vegetables from the farm, and I am going to toss them with cold noodles with an Asian dressing. And we also have some foraged foods. These are purslane, which are high in omega-3 fatty acids. And um, I'll probably add julienned cucumbers and yellow squash, which is right next to Adrian. And I also plan to grill some Berkshire pork, pasture-raised pork, to go on top of the salad for those who want some extra protein in their diet. Yes, and this, this purslane, by the way, which most people call a weed, we love here. Pork. It's suburban foragers. It's delicious. I can eat this whole bowl right now. <laughs> I'm going to start to cook. I'm going to cook the um, lamb's quarters, the, uh, a little bit of the lemongrass. I'm going to save some for the sauce and I'm also going to cook up the onions all in one go. And then um, put the pork in the bowl for the uh, mixture, add a little spelt flour, an egg. So and then we all get to roll the pork balls. We're all going to roll the pork uh, balls. I have to find a vessel to bake them on. And um, while that's happening, I'm going to sear off the milkweed pods and make the sauce. Oh, great. That's great. the plan. I actually have pork that I bought a uh, pork loin, sliced it thinly, put it in the freezer, and then defrosted it overnight in the freezer so it was uh, in the fridge so that it was still a little bit frozen. Uh -huh. I put it in the food processor and chopped my own. Okay, so this is your bowl for the pork. Just the paper doesn't fly away. Okay. This is for sachi, and then we'll use this. This is a... So the pan's nice and hot. I'm going to add the onions first. These are just a fine diced onion. While they're cooking, I'm going to add a little bit of lemongrass. 
that I've chopped fine. I'm going to throw some garlic in. Now the onions are soft, we're going to throw in the lamb's corners. a little bit and then add it to our meatball mixture. To our meatballs we want to add one egg. Oops. We may need two eggs, we'll see. Um, I'm going to add a little sea salt. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to run in and wash my hands after I do that. I've been washing my hands on and off, but I'll do it again. Uh, what else we need is some flour just to help it hold together. I'm just going to use a bit of spelt flour. Where did that go? There we go. Could you open that for me, please? Oh! There you go. Oh. Here, actually, dump. I'll let you know when. Okay. That's perfect. That's enough. Thank you. Of course it's perfect. I did it. You did. Okay. So this is our meatball mixture. And I'm going to set this aside while we make our sauce. I'm going to get some rollers. We'll roll it into meatballs, put it on a tray, bake it for like 15 minutes at 400. Maybe 450, whatever the oven is. I think it's a fast oven, so. And then we'll throw them into our sauce. So, Paul, Lisa's instructed you on how to make her magical meatballs? Well, kind of. She told me the size she wants them. <laughs> I'm going to uh, make it up as I go along now. So what, what I'm doing now is I'm putting a little coconut oil in a hot pan. And it smells great. <laughs> I love the smell of coconut oil. And these are our milkweed pods that we were talking about. And what we're going to do is we're going to caramelize them by putting them face down into the oil. Oh, Sorry. A lot of slamming of toys. <laughs> These are perfect because they're young, they're tender, they're sweet. They look, they, they look great. Look at the color on those. Yeah, they're turning great green. Oh man, I, I need a, a photograph of that. Come and take a photograph of it. Oh, it smells fantastic. Corky at all. Did you crave some in? No, I just... You know, I was just thinking we need some more greens. Well, here's some charge for you then. Fresh from the field? Fresh from the field. Freshly thinned out. Thank oh, you. Good. good. Bring good. it on over this way. Enjoy. 
Thank you, Farmer Fred. Here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cook it up good now. Thank you. Uh, hey, where's our mockingbird? He was singing the whole time. He quit. He quit? He was like, it's too hot, I quit. He's on, <laughs> he's he's on lunch. He's on break. <laughs> <laughs> he's on coffee. All right, we finished up our meatballs. And now they're going in the oven about at about 400 degrees. They fit? Yeah. So this is squash from the farm? Yes, this is ye yellow squash. Coconut oil, which we've been using all along. The last of our lemongrass. Some ginger that's freshly grated. And I'm going to add some tomatoes. Now it's not yet tomato season at the farm, so I have to use canned because fresh tomatoes don't look so hot. To our tomatoes, we're okay. going to add okay. a can of coconut milk. <laughs> and a touch of chicken broth. I guess we'll Alright, mm, so here's your extension cord. We need to plug in the grill. So we're just going to let our sauce cook down. Mint is pretty strong, so this is probably going to be more than enough. Oh, I think so, yeah. Oh, we got more mint. Yeah, we have mint. Nice. Ginger. Oh, nice. Mm. Oh, wow. Ginger meatballs. Mm. Mm. Ginger pork meatballs. Mm -hmm. These are going to be amazing pickles. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a spoonful of palm sugar, which you can use brown sugar. I just happen to have this. Just to give it a little sweetness. And a squeeze of lime juice. At last, it's time to add the meatballs to the sauce. Mm. Cause it's, just because it's so Bring many ingredients. Yeah. yeah. So then once they're done, are you going to crumble them into something? Or? You're just going to slap them on top of the salad. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way she cooks. Throw it on there. It's great. It always tastes amazing. Right? All right. harvested some kale, some chard, 
the rest of our lamb's quarters. Sunday. Oh, okay, nice. Where are these noodles? They're puppies. 